Hello children, in this video we are going to learn about addition of money, money which is composed of rupee and paisa. So we are going to do addition of decimal addition of money. But before we do the decimal addition, let's take simple addition. Let's say we had 3 rupees and we get 7 more rupees. How do we do it? We write rupee at the start, at the top and then we write 3 plus 7. Because both were rupees so we write rupee at the top and then we do 3 plus 7. Very simple 3 plus 7 is 10. So we have 10 rupees in total. You must be saying it's so easy isn't it? But let's do one step at a time. Let's say we have 10 paise and we got 80 more paise. So we write paise at the top because that is the unit which we are taking in this problem. So we had 1, 0, 10 paise and we got plus 80 more paise. So we write 8, 0, 1's position below 1's position, 10's position below 10's position. So how do we do this addition? We should add 0 plus 0, 0, 8 plus 1, 9. So we have 90 paise now. We had 10 paise, we got 80 more paise, so we have 90 paise, not 90 rupees, 90 paise because both were paise. Let's take another problem. Let's say we have 38 rupees and 94 paise and we got 35 rupees and 2 paise more. So how do we do it? Because now this problem has rupee as well as paise, we write it like this. We, at the top we write rupee and we write top left and we write right side we write paise and we can divide it like dotted thing or we can do it multiple way. I have just taken a simple way. So we had 38 rupees so we write 38 like this. We had 94 paise also right. So we write 94 paise below the P paise representation. And we got 35 rupees and 2 paise more. So we write 35 in the rupee area just 5 below it and why 5 below it because this is the 1's position of the rupee and this is the 10's position of the rupee and then there we have got 2 paise so how do we write 2? Do we write 2 like here or we write 0 2? 2 and 0 2 are same we can't write 2 here because this is 10's position of the paise remember this is 1's this is 10's if we would have written 2 here it, this would have become 20 to 0 we write but we actually got 2 paise so we write 2 at the 1's position of the paise which is here so 35 we write here in the rupee area and 0 to paise and now if you look very carefully this problem looks like a 4 digit addition problem start from 1's position of paise from the rightmost position and when then we add 4 plus 2 is 6 9 plus 0 is 9 then we move to the rupee area we now do addition of these two 8 plus 5 13 1 goes here 3 plus 3 6 and 1 7 so we have 73 rupees and 96 paise in total understood rupee rupee paise paise and you start adding from the rightmost position from here going to the here going then going to here and then going to here now finally the answer is also this much is rupees and this much is paise let's take another problem let's say we had 22 rupees and 73 paise and we got 85 rupees and 52 paise more so we write it just like the previous one like this now we start from the rightmost position 3 plus 2 is 5 7 plus 5 is 12. Now what do we what happens to this one carryover? It goes to its neighbor on the left. But you must be saying, hmm, this neighbor is the rupee where, whereas we were adding here paise. But remember what is 1 to 5? 1 to 5 is nothing but 125 paise. And we know 100 paise is 1 rupee. So whatever you got 1 here, we just move it here very similar to how you were doing in four digit addition without any rupee paise concept if finally that twelfth one went to the left neighbor as a carryover and conceptually it means 125 paise is nothing but 100 paise plus 25 paise so that 100 paise has moved like a rupee because we know one rupee is 
hundred paise. So whatever one two was here, that one moved here. Now we continue. We are at one's position of the rupee. We add one plus two is three. Three plus five is eight. Then we move to tens position of rupee, which is here, which is two plus eight is ten. We are done, right? So the problem solution is very similar to four digit addition, but conceptually. It's a little different. You have to write rupee below rupee, paise below paise, and in the final answer, how do you say this? You have hundred and eight rupees. That is on the left side of this dot. Hundred and eight rupees and twenty five paise. Now you must be telling what happened to my decimal representation, right? Let's come to that. Now it's the time to introduce the decimal representation of this. Let's say you had four rupees and thirty paise. So how we can write this like four point three zero rupees, four rupee and thirty paise is same as four point three zero rupees, rupees not paise four point three zero rupees the higher unit, which is greater rupee or paise rupees. So in this decimal representation we write four point three zero rupee. And let's say you got six point three zero rupees more, so we write six point three zero rupee. And now we want to find how many total rupees we have. So what do we do? Just add, starting from the rightmost zero plus zero zero, three plus three six, six plus four ten. So we have ten point six zero rupees in total, right? Let's take another problem. Let's say you have three point seven zero rupees and you got six point nine zero rupees more. So you just write just exactly like this. Remember, you have to be consistent. You can't have a representation which is rupee and paise mixed. Like you say, three point seven zero rupees and then you write six hundred and ninety paise. It's rupee, rupee only. Okay. So zero plus zero, zero. When you do the addition, now you go to nine. Seven plus nine is sixteen, but you can only write one digit here, so one goes to the carryover to the this digit. And I do understand you are going from paise to rupees, but remember this entire representation is all about rupees. So you just think about three digit addition here, and you just move seven plus nine is sixteen. One goes to the next left position, so here one plus three four four plus six ten. So you have ten point six zero rupees in total. So if you look at it at a top level, finally this addition is very similar to two or three or four digit addition. Only thing you need to ensure is you are consistent in writing your units for both the numbers. If you are taking rupees, the answer is also in rupees. If you are taking rupee paisa, your answer is in also rupee and paisa. If you are taking just rupee. then your answer is only in rupee or just paisa just answer is in just paisa okay so that's all for today now keep practicing children keep smiling like this bunny bye bye